Hey, my loves, it's your girl, Miss Melly XX here, also known as Hey Y'all Santee, or your girl, Melly Tumor, depending on where you watch me at. My loves, welcome to a new episode of the Melly Tumor Talk Show. And in this episode, I pose a question. Why is it that so many men, especially black men, automatically think that every trans girl or non-binary female or even every gay boy automatically just wants them? And the reason why I pose this question because I think of things I went through in my past. And I think of things that um you know trans girls right now are going through, and it just made me just want to do a video on this. I always say this. Um, I'm the type of girl when I go out. I'm not. I'm not the loud type, the the big boastful person. Now that's not me when I go out. Now, granted. If you if if you know if you come at me in a certain way that I feel that is wrong, I'm gonna set up for myself all day and every day. Whether I set up for myself by myself or not, I will do that. But I'm also not the shy mouse. I'm just as LL Cat that song back in the day, around wicker. I'm just that. I'm just that girl, that next door chick. That's just me. And so when I go out places, you know, I'm just me. And if I get on a bus and I'm sent to a front, sent to the front of the bus. And the guy automatically moves way to the back of the bus. Most trans girls might think, well, what's wrong with me? But stop doing that. Because a lot of these men, especially black men, automatically think that every trans girl, black trans girl, or every non-binary female, or even every gay boy wants them. And the truth be told to those men, understand this. We have a type. And you might not be our type. I don't know about anybody else, but 90% of the men who come to me on that, I got to move, I don't want that gay stuff, trans stuff. Baby, I want to touch you with a 10-foot pole, period. And this also comes from the notion when trade or DL men tell the trans girls, oh, ain't nobody else going to want you. You might as well just, you know, you know, get with me or do, do whatever, you know, I want to, or you know, let me be your little secret. But to the trans girls out there, don't, let these men tell you that because it is a lie. You are beautiful. You are wonderful. You are phenomenal. And you, de you, are, you deserve to be loved and you deserve to be more than someone's secret. But when these men, especially these DL men or uh, a thing of that nature, you know, comment, you know, do things like that, you tell them yourself. Because I always say this. If a trans girl, someone like, or not by someone like me um, comes at you, um, as long as I don't come at you on nothing disrespectful, I'm not violating your space. Why are you so pressed? Why are you so pressed about that? And the reason why is that there are so many men out there who are not comfortable in the fact that they may like a gay boy. They may like somebody. No matter if it, they might like a trans girl, but it all boils down to the fact of that within the black community, we have still not accepted the fact that Someone being trans or someone being non-binary, somebody gender conforming has nothing to do with nobody being gay. If you're a trans within the black community, we have this this stupid narrative. And yeah, I'm gonna call it stupid. This this stupid idiotic narrative that if you are dating somebody of the LGBT plus community, you are gay. And that is so wrong. There are gay men, but there are also bisexual black men, bisexual black women. There are pansexual black men, pansexual black women. There are black trans women, black trans men, black non-binary people, black gender non-conforming people. And this is the reason why when, when people say, oh, it's too many letters, but the reason why we have those letters is because everybody doesn't identify under that. Okay. And so for all these straight black men who automatically think that every trans and non-binary film, you know, you know, person wants you, you tell it on yourself. Because ask yourself this question. If a trans girl or non-binary film does not violate my space, does not come at me, why do I have such a problem with it? Why am I so offended? Why does it bother me so much that I have to make a scene or something of that nature. You need to ask yourself that question because that's something with inside you that you ain't dealt with. That's something with inside you that you're in denial about because every straight black man that I've met that has been an ally, especially to the LGBT plus community, they don't care. They can get on a bus and they can see a trans girl 
or they can see a non-binary female, or they can see a gay boy, and it doesn't matter with them because they're comfortable within their sexuality and who they are. And somebody might say, well, that person might just not want to be around that gay stuff, or around that trans stuff. Okay, I'm going to tell you this. As a black trans woman, I don't like being around straight black men who have a problem with trans people. I don't like being around straight black men who have a problem with non-black people. I don't like being around straight black men or women that have a problem with trans people existing. Because in the long run, I say this. I believe that all black lives matter. And when I say all black lives matter, that means black women, black men, black trans men, black trans women, black non-binary people, black gender non-conforming people, black bisexual people, black pansexual people, black queer people, black lesbian, all black lives matter. And in this black, in black community, we have got to learn to come together more. We've got to learn to come together more. And so for me, I just want to say that I am so sick and tired of when I see a trans girl or nobody film out. Somebody has to make a problem of it of just a black trans girl existing, of a black non-binary femme existing, or, or a, 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 a gay black man is a femme gay black man existing. Why? Why? Why does it have to be a problem all the time? And to all my gay boys, to all my non-binary femmes, to all my black trans women, let me tell you something. Continue being you. Don't let the negativity that people put towards you stop you from being you, stop you from living your life because life is too short to be, you know, to not be who you are because of someone's negativity, because of someone's insecurity, because someone just being stupid. I'm going to say it, just being stupid because it's not needed. At the end of the day, we are all human beings. We're all human. And we need to learn that everybody's not going to agree with everybody. Everybody's not going to agree with everybody. everybody. However, one thing we should be able to agree upon is that we're all human beings and that we all deserve to exist and that we all deserve to live, that we all deserve love, that we all deserve to just simply be able to walk out our doors and feel safe. And that is what a lot of black trans girls and non-binary females don't have. Because there are days to where we walk out this door, we are just simply trying to go get our nails done. Or we are simply trying to go get a wig. Or we're simply trying to, you know, go to the grocery store. Or we're simply trying to pick up some medicine or something. And we can't. We can't because of someone's insecurity, not only in who they are, but it's an in, in, in insecurity in who we are and having the courage to walk within our truth, to walk and simply be who we are, to walk and say, you know what? I don't care what you think about me. This is who I am. Like, like that Broadway song, this is me, this is me. Baby, this is who I am. And if anybody has a problem with it, I'm sorry. Baby, that's your issue and not mine. Because I am living my life and loving me for who I am. And that is the problem with people. People need to learn to live their lives and understand that, that gay and queer and transgender form and non people are simply just trying to live. That's it. Simply trying to live. Okay? So to end this, I want to say to all the black men, understand this. Every trans girl, every non-binary girl, or even every gay boy you see don't always want you. Because truth be told, half the time when I go outside and I have a problem with, you know, someone, with me being trans, 90% of the time, baby, as I said at the beginning of the video, I wouldn't touch you with a 10-foot pole. And that's real talk. I love you, my loves. Thank you for supporting my show. Thank you for supporting me. Um, if you'd like to support me more, the links will be somewhere in the video. I love you. Love yourself, my love, and know your worth, and know that you are absolutely beautiful, and you deserve to exist, okay? 
I love you so much. Okay?